Wait, so now the other, I was going to say, when you brought up Weinstein in the tweet, yeah. I, you have got to have a lot of stories, I would imagine, of sexual. None. Isn't that funny? Seriously? I have 0.0. Wow. In fact, we had a guy call up on the radio the other day, and he's like, I'm so disappointed in you. I said, for what? Not fucking lying and saying I've, I've had all these stories? No, I haven't had it. I, yeah. You know, uh, many people, Lisa Guerrero just came out with a yeah. story with Steven mm-hmm. Seagal, and uh, it was in Newsweek. And so I, you know, yes, it's been around me. I'm also, here's the, here's the negative part of being a guy's girl. I'm probably the dirtiest in the room. Yeah. So when she goes down, that's maybe it's me okay. Too. So I don't really yeah. recognize it because yeah. I'm usually the one offended. Maybe or we like, intimidate men too. Much. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but um, listen, have I had got when I was at the NFL? Did I have, you know, right? I got bosses that said you're getting. When I did the skating show, they're like, you're getting too skinny. We're losing your your boobs and your ass. I'm like, I know my tits got. They're gonna come back at some point. Like, yeah. I didn't get offended and run to HR. I'm yeah. just not that person. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, you know, yeah, I, I think, just had a baby, and then they said, "Well, I think you look great," and I, and uh, and and they said, "You know, you've only got a few more to go," and they didn't mean it like yeah. as a bad. And I, I'm I'm like, yeah, I do have a few more to go. You're right. Yeah. Um, I guess those are things that I could have gone to, but yeah. it's not my style. Maybe it's because I, <clears throat> yeah, I've probably sexually harassed more people. Right, That's Sean? what I'm saying. Yeah. Then I've worked with them. <laughs> have harassed me. He's rocking back and forth yeah, in his own feces over there. He's like, yes, yes, I've yeah, been harassed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm like you. I just no, don't. Maybe it is, you know, filthy loudmouth girls like us. Like, cause I, I don't have any story and maybe it ah. also cause I work on the fringe of show business. It's not like I've ever had a big movie or TV career, you know? So yeah, I, I honestly, same here. Yeah. I've never had to go read for every, yeah. you know, every acting job I've got, which, you know, for the guys from Will and Grace, they hired, they hired me. They, I didn't right. audition for, you know, they were looking for a Jillian Barbary type to be right. on the sitcom on NBC. And so they auditioned like 17 Jillian Barbary types. Right. And then, uh, Max Munchnik and David Cohen said, fuck it, let's just bring her in. And they brought right. me in and I did 10 episodes. So it's always been given to me. I've never had to go in and audition and then, because yeah. I'm horrible at auditioning. Me too. And then, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like I get, I shit the bed. And I, I start working blue and they're like, my God, you do know this is a Disney show. And I'm like, <laughs> <"Fuck> <laughs> like have fucking kids if they can't fucking take a joke. Jesus Christ. I remember auditioning Little tight for asses. Disney. Oh my God. And it was an animal show. And I was that, you know, I mean, and I had like, it was like, that's little, hilarious. Oh yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, this this is like a couple purses, a belt, as a joke, and they're like, what the fuck? I was terrible at it. Yeah, I, I was horrible yeah. at it. Ugh. I and remember. I hate doing it.